Chapter 4 Sick Homesick This is the story of a woman. Her own swollen ego had devoured her life. Everyone has the freedom to dream. An ideal self, ideal pleasures, an ideal future. Ideal strangers, ideal lovers, ideal partings. Cheap dreams are free to everyone. But most of them are nightmares. What's going on guys, the Inhuman P-Town? I'm back with more Fate Extra Triple C. Last time, we defeated Passion Lip, the Alter Ego, and then proceeded onward to find that Jinniko had become the new Sentinel. And she also said that she didn't want us to save her. Obviously, we're going to do the exact opposite of that. <laughs> The familiar sound of a call wakes me from my sleep. This is my room. Maybe it's because I just woke up, but I can't clearly recall what happened before this. We defeated Passion Lip, proceeded straight to the next layer, and then... Hmm. That useless creature was inducted as a sentinel and blocked our path. Perhaps not wholly unexpected. That's right. Jinniko was captured by Bibi and made into the Labyrinth's new core. It looks like after I got back to the old school building, I fell asleep from the exhaustion of fighting Passion Lip. I wonder how long I've been asleep for. Closing your eyes like a wooden doll. If you sleep all day and night, tiredness will not approach you. Respond to your summons. Urged on by Gilgamesh, I heard I her her hurriedly get ready. There's Jinniko to worry about, but there's also the matter of our reclaimed memories. Let's hurry to the 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 to to the 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 to so apparently Taiga found an ocean under the school with the shovel with the shovel that we gave her, and now she wants to use she wants us to get something to help her swim across. Like a boat or something. And I think that's on the third floor of this part, I think. I haven't run across it yet in my breaking of the uh, translation. I don't know if that tells you how far I am yet in it, but I, I've got some pretty good distances. If we come over to Kotomine, he also has something to say. Over there, valued customer. This is a notification of a new pro of new products in stock. New products? I wonder what it is. I may want to buy it if it's something good. We've required formal wear for your servant this time. I too was disappointed by those piddling accessories. I troubled Sakura to let us stock some strictly controlled formal wear. It wasn't shown on big screen, but my efforts were worth worthy of an action movie. The price takes into account the cost for my labor and medical treatment. Good products come with certain necessary expenses. There we go. So, we have several things here to buy. Uh, the first off is a new thing for the main character. These are some stockings, at least for the female, which I will happily buy. Yay! Because I need to spend stuff for uh, Gilgamesh's third SG, so it's worthwhile buying it. And the last one is what is called Delightful Modern Clothes, or Modern Clothes of Yuitsu as the translator has written, for Gilgamesh, which is the first of Gilgamesh's um, three outfits, I think. Unlike the other three, uh, unlike, unlike the other three servants, the other three have four outfits. The three that are unique to the game and their old outfit, because they wear new outfits in the game. Gilgamesh, however, since he was not in the original game, only has his current outfit and the three that can be unlocked. This is the first one, which we will happily buy. Because honestly, I had a shit ton of cash, 
And I mean, it's good to vary things up. Alright. Now that we have that, uh, I guess the other things that we could get are items, but honestly, you know, as the game has been progressing, I haven't really needed items, honestly. And I won't really with Gilgamesh at my side. Gilgamesh has more than enough power to make up for certain things. Uh, we have that heal. Okay. We have add regeneration and add constitution. I think... I don't actually know what add constitution does. I think it just... I think it's like a defense boost or something like that. And add regeneration has a small healing effect every turn. I don't consider it enough to really warrant getting. Alright. Now then, clothes you've purchased will be sent to the closet in your private room. You may use them whenever you like. <laughs> what thorough, attentive service this priest, or er, shopkeeper, isn't so bad. Occasionally the delivery will be late, at which point I invite you to cry and bear with it. <laughs> What a sorry sight. I have some complaints about this service here, but I suppose that's a luxury for you. In the shadow of convenience, always lie many sacrifices. It's clear that this priest is very busy with other work. No, I simply don't do work outside the regulations. What of it? This store does not accept my compliments about our, or complaints about our delivery service. Okay then. Well, <laughs> so the other things we can, uh, so let's go ahead and stop by our room. So that we can, uh, accessorize. Also, uh, we've gotten the full matrix for Passion Lip now. Which I, I could read, but honestly, well, one, I don't have a translation for it, two... Um, the translator translated one of them, but I decided that it's not really worth going through. So instead, I'm going to abridge it. Uh, one of the keywords she, that the uh, person translated was the three goddesses that make up Passionlet. Because if you recall, BB said she took Pat, or Fox, she took goddess level servants and combined them to make her alter egos. Passionlet is made up of Parvati, Durga, Brynhildr? It's like B-R-Y-N-H-I-L-D-R. Uh, I've heard Pravati's name used once or twice. I'm not sure what the association is. I know Durga, and I don't know the last one. Alright, so the other thing is we now, <laughs> we now have access to new outfits. Those are my eyes. So, now I have stockings, which I could change to any color if I so choose. Also, I want to make note, white just... I'd say they almost look like skin tone, but if you actually compare the skin tone of the character to it, it's much wider than it should be. But I'm actually going to go with black, because black, uh, black stockings look a lot better than really any other color, in my opinion. They just kind of stick out. And I suppose for this one, I'll actually uh, equip this. I showed it off before, but we do have access to the old one outfit. The more I look at it, though, the more I don't really like it. So, just going to stick with this one. And of course, wouldn't be complete. Gilgamesh's second outfit. Yep. Gilgamesh gets... You know what's better than that? He said, King of Heroes, dress change. I know that much. <laughs> I don't know what he said there, but I understood that. He said, Ewo, dress change! <laughs> Which, if you recall from the multiple notes, uh, Ewo is an improper way of saying King of Heroes. But now we have an actual talk with him about it. Yeah. Whoever placed the order for these clothes had good taste. Don't you think so, Vala? Uh, I hate to put Gilgamesh out of his good mood. It's really very... It's like an Emperor of the Night. 
That's a that's a fancy way of saying a pimp. <laughs> An emperor? Don't group me with such lowlifes. I am the king, the first story, humanity's oldest. Hmm. However, emperor of the night, it rings with unconcealed obscenity. All right, it pleases me. Then, as fitting for such a name, we must go have Gufu in Ryopan, and then Shisu in Zagging? Uh... Okay, so I'll explain this briefly, because I didn't understand this till I got down to the uh, thing. So, the words are formed by something called Zuja Jazz Reading, where you take the last syllable of a word and put it at the front. In this case, Fugu... Uh, yeah. It's... What did he say? It's Fugu, Roponji, Sushi, and Ginza. Words like this apparently occur often in business slang. Okay. So, in case you were confused by... What the hell he was saying, because I sure as hell was. Anyways. <laughs> An enumeration of words that invoke a strange feeling of nostalgia. What period is this Pleasure King supposed to be from again? And of course, we will return by Zeta. With the roar of my experience card, all auction doors will open to us. Yeah. <sighs> It was already perfect, but soon I won't be able to do anything but praise it. Indeed, this is a servant who knows all the world's pleasures. Ugh. The broad-mindedness that lets him wear those clothes without the slightest embarrassment, embarrassment has completely overpowered me. Yes. And now Gilgamesh will actually wear this outfit through the rest of the game if I choose to do so. Uh, I will be doing this often, changing up his clothes when I get the option to, just as a sort of little variety, because if there's always been a phrase that I hold dear to myself, it's variety is the spice of death. Uh, for now, though, I think I'm going to call the episode an end. I know it was kind of short. We have a long part ahead of us, and I would rather not have another 35-minute episode. So until next time, guys, I will catch you all later. Asta. Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode of Fate Extra Triple C. If you've liked this episode, be sure to leave it a like and share it with all of your friends. And to stay up to date with all my latest content, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Now it's time to go back into the labyrinth, fight our way to the other side with the egotistical Gilgamesh at my side, and crush all those who would stand in my way. Until next time, I'll catch you all later. Asta!